After eight years of Justin Trudeau, everything seems broken. Could it, it, whether you're talking about the 40-year highs in inflation that Trudeau caused with half a trillion dollars of inflationary deficits that bid up the cost of the goods we buy, buy and the interest we pay, that it, could, it, it could be the cost of home heating and fuel that have increased after his massive carbon tax increases. It could be the doubling of the cost of mortgage payments and rent could be the 30,000 people who've lost their lives to drug overdoses or the 32% increase in violent crime caused by Justin Trudeau's catch and release bail system. Everything seems broken and people feel like they're losing control of their lives after eight years of Justin Trudeau. Some of the uh, victims of uh, his failures include immigrants themselves, two million of whom are waiting in the queue to have their cases heard. More than a million have been waiting longer than the acceptable delay time. Refugees, the number of refugees waiting in the system to have their cases heard has gone from 56,000 to 71,000, a nearly one-third increase. These are the failures of Justin Trudeau after eight years. And nowhere is that chaos more evident than at Roxham Road, where Trudeau encouraged people to cross illegally into Canada. He's done through, so through his words and through the system that he has set up that encourages crossings at that particular place. Now, Justin Trudeau will throw up his hands and once again, like he does on inflation and crime and uh, drug overdoses and all of the other failures that are in federal jurisdictions, and he will say he has nothing to do with it, he can't help. Which of course begs the question, if he can't do anything about the things that affect people's lives, why does he keep himself in the job? But Obviously, it's not true. We didn't have a problem at Roxham Road before Justin Trudeau. This is a problem that followed him. It didn't precede him. And secondly, he's the Prime Minister of Canada. If Canada is a country, then it has borders. And if the Prime Minister is the head of the government, he is responsible for protecting those borders. Let me address who is not responsible for this problem. One, the refugees themselves. They're just doing what Trudeau told them to do. He told them to cross at Roxham Road and he created the infrastructure to facilitate it. They're just doing what they're told. They're desperate people trying to do what all of us want, which is to, to create a better lives for themselves. And that's what Canada has been able to do. We've had a wonderful and successful immigration system up until eight years ago. An excellent, probably the best immigration system in the entire world. And we need more immigrants but we need to have it done in an orderly and lawful fashion. So it is not the refugees themselves, they are just doing what, what the Prime Minister told them to do. Second, it's not Joe Biden's fault. This problem started before Joe Biden even became Prime Minister. Uh, excuse me, Joe Biden became President. And the Prime Minister has tried to, to, to slough off the blame on the Americans again and again, but it is not any other country's jobs to protect our borders. The job of protecting our borders belongs to us, and in particular to the Prime Minister of Canada. And under his leadership, the number of illegal border crossings has gone up tenfold, an astounding increase for a problem that did not exist before trust, Tr Justin Trudeau was here. Happily, there is a solution. And the Prime Minister accidentally demonstrated it during COVID. He closed Roxham Road during the COVID period, but then he decided to reopen it. That was a decision, it wasn't an accident. So we as a country can close that border crossing. If we are a real country, we have borders. And if this is a real prime minister, he is responsible for those borders. That is why conservatives are calling for the prime minister to implement a plan to close the Roxham Road crossing within 30 days from now. Merci beaucoup. What would you like? To, what's your solution? What's your solution on that? Like, close like, Roxham Road. No, but like with a, with like yeah. a fence, with a, a wall, close, with close like, Roxham Road. How would you do it without violating international law or the Safe Third Country Agreement? Uh, we under international law, we have borders, and we are in charge of our borders. We closed Roxham Road during COVID, and nobody ruled it unconstitutional. Nobody found that it broke the law. The Prime Minister has had six years to find a solution to close Roxham Road. He has the Canadian Border Service Agency. He has the entire Justice Department. He has Immigration and Refugee Services Canada all at his fingertips. It is his job 
to protect our borders. He said six years since the influx began. It is his job to close the border, and we're calling him to do it at, that, at, at the Roxham Road passage within 30 days. 